Today I'm going to show the method that I use to get great looking stitching on both sides of a leather project. This is really important for projects like wallets where the look of the stitching on the front side and on the back side are equally important. There are two methods that can be used. The first method uses a chisel to punch through all the layers of the leather workpiece from the front side after it's all been glued together. Normally it is fine to use this method but it doesn't work well if your leather project has many layers or is thick. It gets a bit difficult to get the stitching on the back side neat and in line with this method. The second method requires you to punch holes from the front and the back pieces of the leather separately and then glue these pieces together. This second method requires a little bit more planning and accurate chiseling and gluing. So let's have a look at how we do these two methods. Here I will be using red kangaroo vegetable tan leather for this video, which I find looks great and is really nice to work with. So let's start with the first method. I have my front and my back sides of my workpiece here, and now we're going to glue them together along the edge. Okay, we gave the glue a little bit of time to dry, so let's put these two pieces together. Okay, now let's get our dividers and mark in our 3mm stitching line. Now we're going to punch through using a diamond chisel. So we can see at the back side we have fully penetrated the leather and we can see all the prongs of the diamond chisel. This is really important so we can get the stitching slanting on the back side the same as on the front. Otherwise the stitching on the back is going to end up looking straight and flat. We are set up in our stitching pony and ready to start stitching method 1. I'm going to stitch starting on the hole nearest to me here with the front side where we chiseled on my right hand side. So we'll start with the first hole and we need to make sure that you have an even length of thread on both sides. Okay, Then we start with the right needle first all the way through. We pull the thread back towards yourself and then we run with the left needle through the back of that hole. We need to pull on this thread to make sure we didn't pierce the thread. And then we come up and we wrap it around that needle like that. Now we're going to pull both of these threads through. That's our first stitch. So next one, again, right needle in first. Pull back on those threads, left needle comes through, pull this thread to make sure we didn't pierce and then we come up and we wrap around that needle. And then when we pull, we need to be pulling both in an upwards direction like that. And the reason is that we need the thread to sit in the right place within that hole.
Let's have a closer look at both sides of the leather piece. This is our front side and we can see how the stitches are nicely slanted. Now let's have a look at our back side. Again on our back side, the stitches have been nicely slanted. However, there is some distortion around the edge of the holes. This is caused by when the chisel is pushed through onto the back side. We will have a comparison between the two methods later on, but for now, let's have a look at method two. For method two, I'm going to be chiseling holes in both of these pieces separately and then I'm going to glue them together. So let's start by making the 3mm stitching line. Okay, I'm going to chisel one side. Now we're going to line up both of these sides to make sure that the holes are in the correct position. Okay, now we've got all these holes punched out, let's glue these two pieces together. Let's give these a few minutes to dry out and we'll stick them together. We are ready to glue these two pieces together now, so when we do this, Let's just make sure that all the holes are aligned. We are now ready to begin stitching method 2. This stitching method is slightly different to what we did with method 1. Again, we're going to start on this first hole here. Let's make sure that the threads are the same length. Then we'll go with the right needle. Pull the threads back. Left needle goes through the back of the hole. Pull this thread to make sure we didn't pierce it. And go up and around. And we'll pull these two ends nice and firm. Okay, right needle in first, pull the threads back, left needle through the back of the hole, this right thread comes up and around this needle, and then when we pull these threads we pull the right hand up and away from yourself and the left thread down and towards. So this makes sure that the thread is going to sit in the correct position within the hole. Taking a closer look at both sides of the leather piece, we can see this side here looks really clean with nice stitching. 
If we flip it over to see the reverse side, again we see nice slanting on the stitching and also looks quite clean. For this method both sides look really clean so there is no real front side and back side. Now let's do a side by side comparison for the two methods. I have method 1 here on the left side and method 2 here on the right. These are both the front sides of the piece and we can see both of them look almost identical with nice clean stitching. Now having a look on the back side, there is a little bit of a difference. On the method 1 on the left here, you can see there is that slight distortion around the edge of the hole. Personally, I prefer using method 2 and punching holes from both sides as I think it looks a little bit more cleaner. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you with your next project. I will be doing more videos like this, so if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.